Live from the Hilton at Bonnet Creek, Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube, covering Vision 2015. Brought to you by IBM. And now your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Welcome back to IBM Vision, everybody. Day two, this is the Cube. I'm Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. The Cube is our mobile studio. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. We've been going wall-to-wall -wall coverage here at IBM Vision. It's a conference around performance management, decision management, sales performance optimization, governance, risk, and compliance. Sort of the, the Cognos crowd, a lot of CFOs here, uh, a lot of thought leaders talking about uh, the new age of analytics as brought to this world of governance, risk, compliance, performance management. And Jeff, what's different really now in looking at um, the state of the business is this whole notion of overlaying Watson Analytics on top of this business. This is a business that's been around for decades and one that's been considered sort of stodgy and right, you know, right. focused on reporting and risk and compliance and now you know, IBM's positioning Watson Analytics is opening up this whole new world of opportunity. We heard this morning from speakers talking about Twitter data. I tweeted out, I wonder, I love the IBM Twitter relationship. I wonder how many CFOs in the audience agree with me. I got some tweets back. I'm sure many do. <laughs> I'm not sure. I asked, how many organizations actually capture Twitter handles in their CRM? And secondly, how many actually do anything with it? We know from our own experience that it's very early days around that, but we also know that the potential is enormous. Um, it was really, Mark Jeffries does a great job at these events. He was on theCUBE yesterday as the host, and a um, number of interesting speakers. I thought, the other thing, Jeff, um, and I'll turn it over to you to get your thoughts. I thought IBM did today what I, I, they didn't do yesterday, which is we really sort of showcased some of the, the, the UI and the ease of use of, of, and the power of Watson Analytics, and you know, kind of patted themselves in the back. Uh, I would like to see even more of that, and I also thought the customer panel was very, very good how people are using you know, Cognos and how people are using um, the, the solutions that IBM is putting forth. There were good stories there. And then of course Jordan Ellenberg uh, finished the morning with a really awesome strong, keynote. Strong He's finish. coming on before, uh, a, later, a little later on. He's a math geek and uh, we're going to be interviewing him. So what were your thoughts? Yeah, I love having, the. you can never have too many customers, right? That's always a the theme of theCUBE and all the shows we go to. A lot of practitioners want to know how their peers are putting these things to work. I love, I love the story about uh, one of the panelists said, yeah, my CEO walked in and said, what are you working on? <laughs> and uh, he was able to basically show him the power of, of Watson Analytics by taking a, a tab, or excuse me, a table, dumping it in, and really asking the CEO, what do you want to know? What questions do you want to know? And starting to go down this iterative approach to extract more information from that data set. I thought that was good. Of course, uh, uh, Dr. Allenberg's terrific. Can't wait to get him on. I, I just love the whole conversation, Dave, about computer science versus math and statistics. Because there is no answer in real math and statistics, right? It's, it's confidence level, it's probability, you know, it's, it's approaching an answer, but there is no answer versus computer science, which traditionally there is an answer. It's zero or one, right? And, and, and how do these things come together and how do we use that? Plus, he has the great um, story about World War II bombers getting shot up over Germany, and then add you know, a human element and bring all those pieces together to get closer to what is a better answer, if not necessarily always the right answer. So we're going to be exploring and, and unpacking some of these issues today. How are decisions made in organizations? How are analytics supercharging you know, this business of governance, risk, compliance, sales performance management? decision management, decision optimization. How is Watson Analytics, how is IBM approaching that? How does it affect how companies uh, and organizations are achieving their business outcomes? And we're going to have a little fun as well on theCUBE. So keep it right there everybody. Jeff Frick and I will be back with our next guest. Right after this, this is theCUBE. We're live from IBM Vision in Orlando. We'll be right back. <laughs>